Welcome to Farming Center 17. Today we will be doing some heavy rescue on the Upper Mississippi Valley map. This morning we have received just over a foot of snow and calls have been starting to come in. The first one we'll be responding to is a multi-car pile up on the highway. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2011 Ford F-350. We'll have to turn four wheel drive on as we head over. The roads are not plowed and we gotta get over there as quick and as safely as we can. I have dispatched the Freightliner rollback to the accident and they have requested the rotator. I hope all of you guys are going to be enjoying all these throwback Thursdays. I really do like FS17 still and it does offer some very cool things that FS19 currently doesn't have and I can't wait for all these mods to get converted over and that will be pretty awesome. We are arriving over here very nice and pretty quick drive as well for us which is great. The Western Star Rotator is a 75 ton rotator twin steer. We only take this out when the calls require it. And we do have the brand new working winches here on them, which is awesome. Big shout goes out to Wood Meadow Farming for making these epic tow trucks. They've been making some awesome mods here for FS17, and I can't wait to see what they do with FS19. This rollback is very expensive to run, and like I've touched upon, it only comes out when our crew calls it. Now, we've been told a semi truck slid downhill right through an intersection and collided with multiple vehicles. We got one on top of the other and one on its side, and we'll be using the rotator to put everything back on all its wheels. If you guys would like to see more Heavy Rescue here in FS17, please let me know down below in the comments. I really do like this series and I definitely want to do more of it here in FS17. It now is the older version of Farmson, but it's a very nice game. Now it should be right up after this turn and I believe that I see some strobe lights. Yep, uh, the Freightliner is helping out with traffic, which is good and uh, we'll have to use it a little bit later on today. We got, it looks like... Uh, a few police cars here as well. Looks like only one at the moment, but a few were dispatched. And take a look at this pile up, guys. We got a pickup truck on top of the semi cab. We got a van on top of it and a pickup truck rolled over. Take a look at that. Looks like they do have some load on it. You guys can actually see this trailer slid uh, quite a few feet. Wow, so much damage. Those, uh, trucks are damaged and uh, everything here looks to be a total loss so we don't really have to worry about that but uh, let's kind of get started off with the uh, red pickup truck over here now luckily there were no reported injuries uh, a little uh, scrapes here and there which is good we don't want people getting hurt especially uh, road collisions can be very dangerous let's get the stabilizing uh, ready to go here for the uh, rotator now this is a pretty much a mobile crane which is awesome it's perfect for things like this where we have to lift things move them and everything like that so we got that ready to go now these working winches are very very nice you just come over here you will have to attach to it first and that's kind of why there are pallets because that is the only objects you can really attach to that's okay and we'll get winching Turn on the winches, and it looks like we are just about lifted up, and that's perfect. Slowly rotate this back. Now this rotator is a very expensive tow truck, but it is well worth the money. And let's see, can we lower it now? Perfect. And that's actually very nice here for the first one. We'll disconnect it. And I think we'll use the rotator as well for the uh, other ones as well. We might as well use it and just use a rollback to transport uh, the vehicles away. Since we have it here, why not? It's a little bit easier as well and it's going to be pretty helpful. That looks good there.
If you do have any cool feedback here to help improve this series, please let me know down below in the comments. I really do enjoy using your feedback to help improve my videos. It's a lot of fun to upload every single day to YouTube, and you guys are the ones that are making it possible. Now, we could have easily rolled this over with a uh, rollback, but I decided, like I've touched upon, we have the rotator. Why don't we use it? And let's see it do its work. Should be very easy. And take a look at that. That's pretty awesome. And we'll get it disconnected. And that's pretty much it here for the rotator. And actually, let's uh, let's get that van as well. And then, like I've touched upon, we'll actually uh, drag uh, the semi-truck to the side of the road. That would be helpful. I actually really don't think we need to kind of put the uh, arms up on it. No need to. It's just a very light kind of pull. Use the winch. And that's pretty much it there. So let's get the tow bar folded out here. And let's uh, get it attached here. Actually, that pickup truck is in the way. So we'll have to hop in the roll back and uh, move it. You guys can see this is a very nice great line of rollback very nicely done like I've touched upon big shout goes out to windmill farming for this the job here with the heavy rescue crew is to get the road open as soon as possible and we've done a very successful job at getting all these different parts uh, kind of ready to go for us the last thing to do is just move them to the side now let's get the attached should be able to get attached and there we go perfect we'll just kind of bring this to the side and we'll have to take a few trips but that should be no problem we'll keep that there for now let's get the big semi truck out of the way and then we could do it looks like I am running into some collisions over the last few minutes here working around it could be uh, to do with the traffic lights let me know down below in the comments now more than likely this semi truck will have to slide just a little and that won't be realistic we'll have to give it a try and there we go Release the air brakes. And actually, let's head back over to the uh, shop. And then we will come back with the smaller wrecker. And we'll get one of the other ones. We'll just have to go right through here. Our turning radius is not the best, I will have to say. The rotator though is doing a nice job tone. If you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and give me a follow at square2448. I do post some pretty cool daily pictures over there and updates for you guys. And I can't wait for some real life snow blowing videos coming this winter as well. I didn't get too much snow so far, but once we do get a lot, we will be doing some awesome videos. And I do have some videos coming with the Subaru. I have been really enjoying that car and I have a very cool video for everyone. Our company color is red here. I really do like red. It stands out, especially with the yellow strobe lights. These do look awesome. Rotators aren't usually used for uh, towing purposes. They're mainly used as a crane, but uh, when we do need to, they are great for doing what we need to. And this is really one of our only big uh, rotators in the fleet. What I have noticed is that our small F550 wrecker is back at our house. We will have to take one of the older ones and that's fine. It's nice to use some of the old vehicles and some of the new ones, especially when it comes to tow trucks.
I really do like the Upper Mississippi Valley map. Hopefully it could uh, come to FS19. That would be pretty awesome. And this is a great map for uh, farming and all these different things as well, which is pretty cool. And we are just about to arrive here at the shop. It's a little long, especially with a big truck and trailer that we are towing. And the back sliding out on us just a little bit. We'll keep the rotator here. We'll get it unloaded when we do come back. But the big question is, will we be able to get this old? a load star running if we do it will be up nice it's nice to have these working and a lot of you guys do request me to put all of them indoors but I like the fact that a few of them are outside and we do have a great first person view I hope all of you guys have had a great school year so far. We are coming up here on a holiday uh, very, very soon, and I can't wait to do multiple live streams during my vacations and things like that. I also really do enjoy the streams. They are a lot of fun interacting with you guys. Now, this does have working winches, but this is nice to see like the old technology where tow trucks really did kind of get rolling, and, uh, and then you guys see the brand new rotators, which is like modern-day uh, tow trucks. So I really do like that. We'll get it attached here to this uh, truck and we'll tow it back. And we are ready to go. So we'll head back now with this. Yeah, this should do a nice job. Let me know if you guys would like me to do more throwbacks here to FS17. I think that this is an amazing game. We can still do some awesome videos here with it, especially with mods that have not yet got converted over. Now, a lot of these vehicles we are towing back are total. They do significant damage, especially this one that got uh, put on its side. And that's a pretty bad crash for a pickup truck to be on top of a semi-truck cap and for a pickup truck to be rolled over in a van on top of the trailer. I mean, this was probably one of the largest crashes yet, but when it is uh, snowing out, you always want to drive slow because accidents do happen. You do slide quite a bit, and uh, probably uh, the semi-truck driver uh, was going a bit over the speed limit and not really paying attention to kind of braking and just kind of slid right through that intersection causing this. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's heavy rescue video on the Upper Mississippi Valley map and the Throwback Thursday video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.